Welcome. So in this video, we will be running our first pod with OpenShift. Uh, and for this video series, we will be using Code Ready Containers, which is OpenShift for your laptop. So we'll be running through these commands that are available on a public repo that we'll be providing in the video details. And following a CRC start, which not only starts our VM environment, but also helpfully provides us with our credentials, we can go ahead and run a CRC console command that will launch our web browser uh, at the point that we're actually ready to log in and take a look at what's going on. Next, we'll run CRC OCEMV, which is just here to basically tell us what the actual command is that we need to run to configure our shell environment to run the OC commands that we'll be running here. Next, we will be logging in as the developer account for our environment. Um, this is not super secure, but it's useful for the laptop environment we're in here. Uh, it says that we don't have any projects, and so uh, we will go ahead and run the get projects command just to sort of see that a different way as well. And then from here, we can go ahead and create a new project of our own called demo-26. And from here, now that we're in that new project, we can go ahead and launch a new app. And so we're going to pull down uh, Nexus uh, from a public repo. We're also going to go ahead and expose that. So just as a reminder, by default, pods are not exposed uh, to any kind of external connectivity. They only really communicate with each other initially within a project. And so from here, we'll go ahead and run a get all and kind of see what that tells us as far as uh, our, our pods. Then we can also take a look at our images. And here we see that we have a uh, in the image repo that's uh, given to us by default with CRC. Uh, we do see that image is there. We can actually go as far as describing that image because of its name, Nexus. We can just describe it that way. And next, we can go ahead and actually describe our pod, uh, any pods that we have there. Got a couple things going on here. So the, the other thing that we can do is we can go ahead and log in, as I mentioned, to the UI and see our, our topology. Basically, that's a good way to kind of talk about this. Let me go and expand this out. And from here, we can go ahead and take a look at our project demo. So it says that it's good here. Uh, it actually has to modify the uh, the URL a little bit for us. We should be able to look at it this way. Um, should be able to launch this from here. And indeed, we do see our Nexus repo. So that is all it really took to go ahead and uh, install our first pod. And we can actually go as far if we want to uh, as cleaning that up. Um, since this is just a, a basic demo of running that command there. So that's installing your first pod, and we'll see you for the next video.